Hello, ladies and gentlemen, dear students, welcome to another episode of El Mejor Inglés. I am your host, Juan Morey, and this is El Mejor Inglés, an English show who is made specific, which is made specifically for busy Dominicans and anyone else who wants to improve their English. Today we have, uh, I think, a topic that is very important, well, like all the other videos, and the topic for today is called, the, the video is called Dangerous Liaisons because the topic is about liaisons or word connections. All right, that's the main topic for today. Now, what I want to do is introduce the idea of word connections, all right? Now, word connections are basically what it sounds. When you speak English, in order to sound like a native speaker, in Spanish, we speak individually, in syllables, right? And there is a space between words, and this is the way that we speak. But in English, people speak a little bit differently. People try to tend to speak by connecting the words, right? The end of one word will connect with the beginning of the next word. This is called liaisons or word connections. And in these three videos, which is the, this is part one, we'll have part two and part three, I will teach you the main ways on how to connect words and how to make your speech sound a lot more native, right? English people speak in sound groups. They don't speak individually word by word. They put some words together and some words they say apart. So how can you tell all of this? We're going to find out exactly how in parts two and three. Today I just want to introduce the idea. When you speak in English, you don't want to sound every single individual word because you will sound like a robot. It's normal in other languages, but in English you just have to say everything in one flow with a constant hum as if you were singing it. Let's look at the first example, which is going to appear on your screen, of course, so you can follow with me. The first part is the dime. Make sure to repeat after me and try to say it the way that I'm saying it. I'll repeat. The dime. The dime easier. The dime easier. The dime easier to understand. The dime easier to understand. They tell me the dime easier to understand. They tell me the dime easier to understand. Now you will see the proper spelling of this. They tell me the dime easier to understand. You see how the dime changed to that I am? They tell me the dime easier to understand. The fact is that if you pronounce the first example correctly, it'll sound just exactly like the, that I'm, right? That I'm, when you say it fast and properly, sounds like the dime. This is how Americans speak. It makes it a little bit easier. And if you do this too, you will sound a lot more native. Now, I have a little game that I'm gonna play with you guys, all right? I'm gonna put some words up. This is a game called Mad Gap. You can look it up on the internet, but basically, you will see some words on the screen. And the words, of course, have nothing to do with the sentence that you're going to hear if you say it properly. What I want you to do is, in the comments down below, I want you to put what you actually think this is saying. I'm going to explain the first one just so that you get it. All right, so the first one is on the screen right now. Let me say it. Easel, aid, ease, man. This is every individual word. And if you say it like that, you will never get it because you have to say it faster and you have to join some of them. Let's try. Easel aid ease man. Easel aid ease man. Oh, easel aid ease man. Oh, that sounds like what I want to say. He's a ladies man. He's a ladies man. All right, so I'm actually saying he's a ladies man. This is what I'm actually saying. If you pronounce things and if you join them together, it will sound like what it really is. If you hear on the street, oh man, he's a ladies man. You know what I'm saying, but that's not what's written there. Let's go to the second example. Now this one, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm just gonna read it word by word. I want you to try it at home and then write in the comments below what you think it actually means. 
all right? Up arrow pin issues. Up arrow pin issues, all right? I'm not giving you time to repeat it now. You have to repeat it by yourself. You can pause the video and then obviously try to find the answer. Uh, make sure to write it down in the comments. We really like comments. The next one is Pretty Shack Scent. Pretty Shack Scent. I'm telling you how to say it so that you can say it faster. All right, so now you have the three examples. Make sure to write them down below and leave us a comment and we'll definitely reply. Maybe we'll even mention it in the next video, which is about part two. All right, guys, now we're gonna move on to the expression of the day. All right, guys, today's expression of the day, footing the bill. Of course, this is not about playing football with your bill. And of course, you know, the bill is something that you owe, like when you go to the restaurant and you have to pay. So footing the bill basically means to cover the expense of something. When you decide to pay for something, you are covering everything, you are footing the bill. So if you go with your friend to the restaurant and he's going to pay and you say, no, 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 it's okay. I'll foot the bill this time. You pay next time, all right? Or your company, if they send you to Miami for a special training and they're paying for everything, you tell them, ha, order the lobster because my company is paying for the bill. They are footing the bill, right? So footing the bill, taking care of the expenses or paying whatever you have to pay for someone else. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed um, our expression of the day. And we're gonna go over a little recap now. Remember that when you speak in English, you need to join words together. You need to join the end of the last word with the beginning of the next word to make things sound fluent. English speakers speak in sound groups. They don't speak words individually. And in parts two and three of this video, you're gonna see exactly how to do the most common connections. This is gonna take a lot of practice, but if you do it, you're gonna sound a lot more like a native speaker. And now, we have a message from the people who put, put the bill for this show. A message from our sponsor, Progressive English Services. Para el mejor aprendizaje del idioma inglés en clases presenciales, puedes contar con la ayuda de Progressive English Services. Puedes contactarnos al 809-732-5150 o visitar la página web pes.com.do. Los enlaces de Progressive English están debajo en los comentarios y puedes hacer clic para llegar a su página. No tenemos una mejor recomendación que Progressive English para clases presenciales. All right, guys, that was a message from our sponsor. They're footing the bill for us now. I would like to invite you, of course, as usual, to share and like this video and to make a comment. I actually gave you some homework right now. Remember, of course, that we have today's quiz right there below. Make sure to fill out the quiz. Thank you very much for watching today. You have a great day, guys. When you pronounce it correctly, it just sounds well. Uh, Captain America, Spider-Man, Iron Man. Bombs. And don't forget to subscribe.